Auto 21 is Canada's national automotive research network. We are comprised of 47 universities across Canada. We support research at those universities, the professors who are doing automotive research there, and their students. Right now we're supporting about 200 professors and about 430 graduate students at the universities across the country. We work in all kinds of different areas from health and safety, societal issues, materials and manufacturing, design processes, powertrains, fuels and emissions, and intelligent systems and sensors. At the University of Windsor we have a very strong acoustics group and in the auto industry that the, the whole science of acoustics is referred to as NVH, noise, vibration and harshness. What happens is when a sound wave is produced the, the vibrations go into these cone areas and they just bounce around inside until they dissipate. Mathematics is a very important tool that all engineers and scientists and, and many people in business and the econo economics uh, end of things uh, use every day. Uh, mathematics is, is how we describe the world and it's how we simulate the world and it's how we predict what solutions will work best and then we evaluate them with mathematics. You know a lot of people think that engineering is all about math and that's not really correct. Engineering uses mathematics and physics and chemistry as important parts of our toolbox. But I have to say there's a lot more to, math, to engineering than just math and physics. And I think engineering is a lot more fun because you get to use all these other technologies and skills as well. Every year the Society of Automotive Engineers or the SAE, uh, which is an, a global uh, society of uh, engineers uh, who work in the auto industry and the aerospace industry as well, have a series of competitions for students. They're called the collegiate competitions. One of them is called the Formula SAE. In this program, the students are required to design and build and compete a small open wheel race car, like the one right here. And it's th these are powered by motorcycle engines. The maximum size is 600 cc's. But the students are allowed to modify the engines. Some of them are supercharged. Some of them are turbocharged. Some of them are fuel injected and uh, the students design custom fuel injection systems and custom exhausts for them that greatly increase their power. The students design and build chassis for the vehicle that uh, have really advanced suspension systems, uh, hydraulic disc brakes on all four wheels, limited slip differentials. These are very advanced vehicles. This vehicle behind me would probably do over 200 kilometers an hour if it was opened right up. So the students from universities all over the world build these vehicles. They have beautiful bodies on them. They're very very advanced pieces of technology and they gather at competitions here in North America, typically over in Detroit. Also in, uh, in Europe they have competitions and uh, we're very proud of the students from the University of Windsor who've done very, very well in these competitions over the years and uh, they've uh, really had a lot of fun and learned a great deal doing it. I think the car is going to change substantially in the next 25 years. Uh, you'll see a lot more electrical propulsion, uh, many, many different kinds of materials used in cars which weren't used before and I think the driving experience will be quite different in the future because of the influence of information technology, vehicle radar systems to keep people safe on the road.